So, we are in the new year. And in reflecting on last year, I wanted to know the one habit that had the most impact on my life. And that's why I decided to make this video. So you can get inspiration from it and maybe adopt it for yourself too. And I assure you, it will have the same if not more impact in your life. So you will ask me, what's the one habit that you changed? The habit itself is that I banned my phone to enter in my bedroom, simple as that. But before I talk in depth, I want to talk. Number one, the impact of using your phone in the bedroom. Number two, what can we do about it? Number three, the habit itself and the benefits I found. And we will finish with a little conclusion of what I learned from banning my smartphone from entering in my bedroom so number one the impact of using your phone in the bedroom so bad habits can have a significant impact on our mental health using your phone in the bedroom is a bad habit and it can lead to you not getting enough sleep and it can then lead to increased stress and anxiety as well as a decrease in our overall well-being so do you find yourself scrolling through your phone right before bed you are not alone many of us have fallen into the bad habit of using our phones in the bedroom but did you know that this habit can have a serious impact on our mental health the fact that the blue light from the screens interferes with our body's production of melatonin a hormone that helps us fall asleep so this makes it harder for us to fall asleep and it leads to less restful sleep poor sleep has been linked to increased stress and anxiety depression low self-esteem and difficulty in forming and maintaining relationships. Spending too much time on our phones or social media can lead to a feeling of loneliness and disconnection, as well as an increase in stress and anxiety. Number two, what can we do about it? It's simple. Keep your phone out of reach. If you live in one bedroom apartment, it will be difficult but put it 20, 20 feet apart. But if you have two rooms, put your phone on the other room and say to yourself, my phone will not enter in this room maybe you will say i need to message someone email someone no 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 the bedroom is for sleeping not working or messaging if you want to do that do it in the living room number two find alternative activities before bed so read journal be mindful of your phone usage throughout the day if you use your phone throughout the day it will lead you to taking it with you in the bedroom so take control of your phone usage and start taking care of your mental health number three the habit itself and the benefits i found so the number one is no scrolling before bed which helps me sleep directly even if i don't fall asleep directly there isn't something that will distract me so it's easy to fall asleep before i would scroll 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 and boom it's 2 a.m we all have been there so number two is no scrolling when i wake up same I wake up, jump directly from the bed, the bed is for sleeping, not staying there after I finish my sleep. The third benefit I found is there is no snooze in the phone. The phone is in the other room, the alarm goes on, I have to get up, shut the alarm, and maybe go back to sleep. <laughs> no, no, no. And the thing that's related to my phone that I found the most benefit is the sleep I got. I didn't knew changing one little thing will have too much impact on my life. Changing this one habit in 2022 changed it a whole different aspect on my life to summarize no phone in the bedroom equals good sleep no snoozing no scrolling before and after i will take that every day of the week and twice on sundays and to be clear there are no days off so i don't say to myself it's the weekend maybe it doesn't matter no 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 phone in the bedroom allowed at all time the one thing that helped me adapt to the situation was I put this little note that says no phones allowed in my bedroom. That helped me a lot before. So in conclusion, the bad habits of using our phones in the bedroom can have a significant impact on our mental health, our ability to fall asleep, to rest, and it leads to less restful sleep. And there is where the trouble comes. Not enough sleep means more stress, anxiety, and depression. So take control of your phone usage and start taking care of your mental health. And I will see you in a bit. And share it with someone that spends too much time on his phone. <laughs>